Hello everyone and today we will see how to create a user login for your LabVIEW applications. For that purpose we will first open our front panel in LabVIEW and then just start, start doing with a tab control. <clears throat> you can drag it from here and you can select its label mention so that we can remove its label which is tab control on first page it will be our uh, user login information and which we can select as a string control and in string control you can even change it to with the silver ones which may look more better or look more attractive so that's now it's your uh, username will be you can write it here as user name or give it a space just username you can select its uh, font size or style so whatsoever you want to do with it from here like I'm using its bold and its color goes blue for me right now and it should be its size should be a little bit higher like 24 or maybe 18 yes now it's more visible to me and similarly <clears throat> if I just could press control and drag it down here and other string control is being generated which I will select shorten the size it's because we here we will put the password so we can align them from here and we can now now we change it the string control to uh, uh, password display so that whenever we write anything it will act like a stars so it won't show anything so here is your username which will you enter like here and whatsoever but right now the uh, characters are so small so what I want is to to increase the characters so that it will look more appear more realistic and then what we do here is yes to add a login button so we go silver boolean and then buttons and then our refresh button will be our login button here or what we can choose is I will choose a refresh button and I will remove its label and change make it a little bit bigger and align it again like this and I can rename it now to login button so now uh, on page first this will appear to me on page second we can make the program like right here right now I am making a very simple program of adding two numbers you can make another program or put your main program on this page so right now mine is numeric number one and similarly I can go on and choose and other numeric and as an indicator as answer or I can write it as addition so here is our uh, second uh, the main program is here and uh, now if we turn on to block diagram now we have to make the main things what we do here with it so first we create 
a sequence in which we first put the username and password in here and then uh, we select a while loop so that it will iterate continuously and then what we do is to add an event structure that will allow us to uh, select when to when to stop this sequence and put forward another sequence so that that will our main code will run so for that purpose we will select a case structure here and in case of first we create some conditions upon which this case structure will act so uh, we will write if our username here we set the settings like if the username is lab view and the password is equals to 1234 then only here we use a function then only this case is true and in case of true what will happen we want to stop this execution so we will just create a constant here and we will drag it inside it and we connect it with the true make it true condition so that when these both conditions will be satisfied then only the case goes true and this um, refresh button right now will be our uh, mean uh, will be our uh, uh, event will that will control the event and uh, edit events handled by this case so we will use this refresh button that is named as so this refresh button will allow us to control this uh, time structure basically or event structure sorry so this event structure will now be handled with this uh, refresh button so in case of true it will stop the execution in case of false we will create in we will create a prompt user input or display message for the user what will be the message in either case it will be either either wrong username or password all right and in case of okay now If we turn into this case will be false right now so that it will run continuously now this structure is done right now now we have to move up to the next structure in which our main code will be executed at a frame after so that we can put our main uh, main program in here and put it inside the while loop so that it will run continuously and these are the numbers where we can and here we can add a control as well which will allow us to stop the button when we want and it will stop the execution so here we will add our main code and which is very simple ones right now 
or you can add a delay like of 500 milliseconds the main thing that we are forgetting is how these tabs will switch these will not switch unless we create a local variable create constant page 1 and similarly copy it to another while loop so that we will now select the page 2 so that it will switch between these two so now if we turn on to page 2 and place it on here now if we run this application and write lab view and then we write one two three four and then we press login button here your user login is entered so now we will add the numbers and then we press the stop button this whole setup is going to stop you can also implement uh, the password protected application for your vi's but let's suppose we are selling or what uh, we are doing our uh, lab view applications like uh, exe files where you sent to users only the exe files there is no plug diagram you have an exe file so what you set is uh, your user panel like user interface or user login like i have created we will continue it to make it more appropriate so that it will be it will look more good and act like uh, much better so right now what I'm doing is to replace this with a silver uh, boolean and stop button and instead of stop button will I will select silver boolean and cancel so again I am replacing it and making it a little bit bigger so in next sequence right now I don't want to stop my application I just want to run it again and again unless like if I press right now it stops the application I want it to when I stop this uh, the main program it should turn on to it should go to first page so the next thing is I am going to do is add a frame after which will allow me to just bring it to page 1 unless and put all this whole sequence structure inside a while loop and create a control and here in this control what we do is to we want to replace it and make it look better using boolean the stop button yes and in this stop button what we do is we want to put it outside the we will put it inside the page 2 so if we want to put it inside the, I think we will put it outside of the uh, tab controls so if the label is removed to stop the program we will change the stop the program program so this will stop the program when we want to stop it so right now if i run this and again user login and we can stop right now it will cause to first page so it will not be bothering us so again login and now if i press the stop button it is not stopped because we have not pressed the stop so it is not stopping the application because of the sequence that have we have put it so what we need to do is when it goes to be first we 
cannot stop the application like this way so right now I'm just removing this while loop or creating its condition as false unless it goes we will abort the execution right now I will add those functions later on and I'll explain it to you so our main thing is done right now what we can do to make it much better is we can remove its tabs right now so and the next thing is go to view tools palette and transparent oh sorry it will yes right now it is transparent and now if we turn on and enter the login button and password it will go up here and then again if we press the stop button it appears here we can you can see the lab view remains name here but what we can do with this name is create a local variable and put it outside of the while loop and create a constant which should be the value of nothing and similarly the password create a local variable and create a constant of value nothing so that every time we press login so that we must have to enter it uh, by using the username and the password one two three four and now we turn on it will appear here so that was uh, briefly explained the working of making a user login we can add one more function to this by adding the <coughs> excel file in which we can save the user login name and the data he entered and we will do it in the next tutorial hope you have liked my video thanks for watching the video see you again